everybody this is a new reading for you guys i'm using today the beautiful creatures to row it's a big box and uh, also the golden art nouveau for clarification i hope you are doing well thank you for um watching this channel for returning to my channel and if you are new here welcome uh, Look if this will resonate or not. It always helps to subscribe to the channel because you are then um, connected with your energy. Angels, Archangels, Spirit Guides, Ancestors, what do we need to know for today, the 19th of April? The 19th of April for my viewers. I hope you are doing great. I hope you have released a lot with this uh, full moon on the 16th. You can still purge if you like. What do we need to know, spirits and guides? We are beginning with this deck, I hear. What do we need to know for my lovely viewers? We have uh, the Ace of Pentacles, we have <laughs> You Are The One, it's a special card in this deck, and we have the Seven of Cups. Okay, and below the deck we have the Paranormal, so somebody is curious about you, they feel that you are very special, that you are the one for, uh, for them. And they want a relationship with you with this Ace of Pentacles. But this Seven of Cups, what do we need to know about this um, Seven of Cups, Spirits and Guides? The Knight of Wands, the Knight, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Page of Wands. This is a person that feels a lot of passion for you. They are impressed by you because you are very independent. And I think uh, they uh, want to get to know you. They also see that you are very spiritual um, developed. And that makes them very curious as well. Okay, what else? I have here the Ace of Swords. I have here the Knight of Pentacles, the Two of Cups, so there is love between you guys, soulmate, and below the deck the Knight of Wands. I think this person um, wants a relationship uh, which is fair, which uh, is very intellectual. I think this person likes conversations with you. They are very impressed. They are very uh, turned on by that. It is uh, not only uh, attraction, but also on an intellectual in intellectual basis, they are turned on by you. You are true soulmates with the Two of Cups and they want to uh, take leadership, they want to they wanna conquer you. You make them happy with all these beautiful sunflowers and um, they want to courtship you, they want to be there for you. They want to get to know you better, what else? I have the Hierophant card, I have the Three of Swords, Oh, the Two of Swords, and below the deck I have the World card. Uh, your connection has ended. can be that um, 
there um, that somebody was in another connection or you both are and that there has to has to be made a choice before you can come together so this person is in their feelings with the three of swords they are very disappointed because you are, have your morals you have your standards you have your uh, principles your boundaries um, first has something um, getting to an end before there can there can be a new beginning i don't know why i am having such a difficulty speaking today maybe this person has a lot of difficulty uh, speaking up or having confidence to to tell you what they feel so they are in a lot of confusion because they know that you're their soulmate but um and they want a real connection with you maybe a marriage but i don't know what this confusion is about because um, you cannot go further when there are other connections or other people in this connection the two of swords yes the three of uh, swords again so a lot of disappointments because they could not have a new start with you but it's normal you spoke up with uh, the ace uh, the queen of swords you set your boundaries you were open you were honest about the fact that you love them too but something has to change before you two can come together you are very loyal to your partner maybe they uh, they are not so much but you want to do this correctly in a good way you don't want to hurt any other people there uh, if they are standing in the in your way of this connection how will this uh, connection end eventually the six of pentacles the page of swords the queen of wands and below the deck we have the high priestess yes you uh, were listening to your inner wisdom you know what you are doing and maybe this other person is not so spiritual uh, evolved as you are maybe they just awoke i don't know they want to equal give and take but uh, before this equal give and take can uh, take place in a certain connection um, other obstacles has to leave this connection and another obstacle can be another partner or uh, a husband or wife or what do you have and with the page of swords you made them realize to go um, within to think about their pain to think about um, and to get to some realizations and introspection um, that um, this is not the moment for you guys because first something has to end you were very determined with this queen of wands energy um, you were very resolute because you f you are very in tune with your intuition and you feel that this is uh, not good this is uh, wrong to do at this moment what is the outcome spirits and guides what is the outcome okay this part of the deck what is the outcome between you guys the seven of wands so uh, you have to be brave to disconnect for from this other connection then you guys can come together and work together so this will be a lesson of bravery and there will be a lot of victory eventually when uh, one or both have cut um, 
or terminated the other connection in their life. That's what I'm feeling. Um, I see a Gemini and I see a Taurus. I also see Pisces. So maybe you have that in your chart or the other one has or it is a combination of you two. If it resonates, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Till next time. Namaste.